Florida was pretty well dominated by the pork chop gang in the legislature. And Roy had never been a part of that gang. Uh, it became clear that he was on the side of, of integrating uh, the, Florida peacefully, peacefully. You got to understand you had Wallace in Alabama, you had uh, um, Arkansas, you had uh, Fat Falbus. Falbus in Alabama, uh, Falbus in Arkansas, you had uh, uh, at Maddox in Georgia, and here you had this wonderful governor of Florida that was going to do it peacefully and not with, with uh, the, the way that they were, were handling it, such as standing at the door. And uh, it, the thing about it is, you've got to understand that the legislature was very, very pro-Georgia and Alabama and Arkansas positions. And one of the things that disappointed me more than anything else was the fact that, that uh, a member of the, of the House, uh, Ferris Bryant, who was a Harvard Law graduate, very, very smart fellow, very smart fellow, wanted to be governor so badly that he introduced the interposition resolution, which was absolutely false. And he knew it, but he introduced it to in the legislature because there was a lot of popular support for it, especially here in Tampa. We had somebody by the name of Sumter Lyra, who was a, a general in the, in the reserves and had been in the war and all. And he was, a, he was actually a candidate for, for governor at one time. And uh, he was bound and determined to get that through. And, and, uh, and Ferris, and, and this is where the, the change really became public. Roy wrote on the interposition resolution, he said, I have no authority to veto this, but I want you to know that I'm against it. <laughs> I didn't know his mother and father, but I will say that uh, I think he had that all along, and uh, it shown in it, out that that. But you know, uh, there's a great story about uh, one of my the old judge, in which uh, he had a hearing before uh, the, this lawyer ruled against him. And the lawyer said, uh, well, judge, he said, you know, I had this previous hearing and you ruled the other way. How can you do that? He said, I've learned more. The judge said, I've, I've learned. And that's what Roy, Roy grew, grew in the job. It disturbed, we, we tried to balance on what he was trying to get done for the state of Florida with what he would, had to do. And finally, as I said, he came down on the, the ground that he just could not go for segregation and that was you got to understand that was flying in the teeth of the legislature uh, of, of a lot of the public sentiment and uh, it was uh, gee I can't he made a wonderful speech in Jacksonville Florida about how that this was the moral thing to do I don't know of any other person that I'm, I'm, I'm of course limited in my exposure to a lot of people but I don't know of any other person that could have done for the state of Florida what Leroy Collins did